The U.S. government's response to COVID-19 has been absolutely laughable. And I don't mean laughable in a way that, you know, haha, it's funny. I mean laughable in the sense that we have responded to the health and economic crisis in a way that you'd expect a failed state to respond to this crisis. It's been a joke, right? But, you know, according to some lawmakers like Ted Cruz, the thought of actually providing people with economic relief that's what's laughable. It's a joke to him. Um, and he decided to respond condescendingly to another lawmaker who actually wants to provide people with some relief. So Ed Markey tweeted out, give every person in our country $2,000 a month for the duration of the pandemic, $2,000 a month for three months after that, and $2,000 a month retroactive to March. Ted Cruz then responded to that saying, why be so cheap? Give everyone $1 million a day, every day, forever, and three soy lattes a day, and a foot massage. We have a magic money tree we should use it now let's just pause for a moment before we point out his obvious hypocrisy um this is a u.s senator and he's using the dead meme of oh well the left they love soy so um aren't they stupid <laughs> i mean the man is a fucking moron i don't know what else to say ted cruz is a fucking dipshit um and you know he is someone who actually does believe in a magic money tree, because at least that's the way that he governs with regard to special interests. Because as Newsmarks pointed out, hey, I found the magic money tree. Federal Reserve to lend an additional one trillion a day to large banks. And this headline from Common Dreams also outlines his hypocrisy. Weeks after voting for $740 billion Pentagon budget, Ted Cruz says magic money tree isn't available to struggling families. Now, after voting for Donald Trump's tax cuts for the wealthy, Ted Cruz encouraged Donald Trump to take executive action to deliver even more tax cuts to the wealthy. So, you know, on the left, we will refer to modern monetary theory as a way to deal with the how do we pay for it question with regard to Medicare for all and whatnot. But you've got to acknowledge now that conservatives, they are, functionally speaking, practicing modern monetary theorists because that's the way that they govern, right? They don't ever worry about paying for things like there was no conversation about how George W. Bush would pay for the Iraq war. We just put it on the credit card. We just, we do it, right? We just pass the policy. It becomes a law or, you know, the president will take executive action and the money is there. So conservatives actually are modern monetary theorists in spite of the fact that they don't know what that is probably. So we just have to point that out. But Ted Cruz, like he can find all the money in the world to pay for wars. If it comes to tax cuts for his wealthy donors, we've got money for that. But helping out struggling Americans during an unprecedented crisis in America? Why not just give him a million dollars? I mean, he just, he dismisses the need there. It honestly should outrage uh, and infuriate every single person, really. Now, Ed Marquis responded saying... It's not a goddamn joke, Ted. Millions of families are facing hunger, the threat of eviction, and the loss of their health care during a pandemic that is worsening every day. Get real. So, yeah, that's a good response by Ed Markey. Um, Ted Cruz, he is trying to be, like, he knows he's unlikable, and he's trying to be much more personable, right? Like, he tries to be a little bit more witty. He tries to, like, poke fun at the left and meme. But you're a fucking United States senator, you goddamn idiot. Do something. Do something. What, is it 40 million Americans are facing eviction come October? In June, 30% of households missed their housing payment. In July, that number rose to 32%. I mean, you're not going to be laughing when people take to the streets everywhere, right? Because they get evicted and they have nothing left to lose. You're not going to be laughing or memeing when they actually start bringing out the pitchforks for politicians like you who don't give a damn about them. Like people are starving. They're unemployed. And you're laughing about some magical money tree? It's just astonishing that this is the mindset of people. And he says this after he just approves an increase to the military budget. It's just... People should be just completely furious whenever they see people like him. Who don't give a fuck about working people and how they're suffering right now losing their health care during a fucking pandemic and all he could think about is you know um serving his donors serving the military industrial complex shamelessly so and then laughing at anyone who suggests that we should 
do something to help people. I mean, $2,000 a month during a pandemic, that's not actually unreasonable. Other countries and, you know, the responses that we've seen from them have been much different. Other countries aren't looking at the crisis, the level of crisis or crises that we're seeing. And, you know, still you have politicians laughing when people propose actual solutions. It, sh it shouldn't, like, be surprising to anyone, but it still should absolutely infuriate everyone. Beta male.